With particle deconstruction leaving, there's a good chance that rockets will become meta and witch queen for DPS, especially now that Gallarhorn can share its wolf pack rounds. In this video, I'm going to compare the DPS of five different rocket launchers with the wolf pack rounds buff. You can see here all of the roles that I'm going to be testing. You guys probably have 50 different roles you want me to test, but that would obviously take a lot of time. So instead, I picked out a good variety of roles so that you probably have something that's close enough to compare to. For the damage test, first let's look at wolf pack rounds itself. There are eight wolf pack rounds, and they can each do up to two instances of impact damage and one explosion. With that in mind, here are the damage numbers that I'm using for testing. The total for each weapon represents the total damage per rocket, and I've also adjusted the numbers according to the upcoming changes in Witch Queen. For the sake of simplicity and consistency during the DPS testing, I made two assumptions. Number one, each rocket has infinite velocity which means zero travel time and this is to keep all of the timing consistent and also to remove velocity as an external variable. And number two, I assume that all eight of the wolf pack rounds will do full damage and that they also have zero travel time but keep in mind that in an actual situation they are delayed and somewhat inconsistent. All of the testing in this video was done at the max reload speed cap. Here the demolitionist clown cartridge hothead comes out on top for DPS but also has pretty low total damage compared to a rocket with a damage perk or field prep for example. As usual, I put everything into my spreadsheet and here's the graph for DPS over time. So looking at the graph you can see that rockets in general have very high burst DPS which drops off pretty sharply. You'll also notice that aside from the hothead the rest of the rocket launchers all perform very similarly in terms of DPS. One reason for this is that all legendary rocket launchers have nearly identical max reload speed and very similar base damage so rockets with similar rolls will output similar DPS regardless of the archetype. Pretty much as long as you have any rocket with a decent roll it will also output very similar DPS numbers to these ones. You can also see the 3 second delay from lasting impression on the He's in Vengeance's DPS. Strictly speaking He's in Vengeance with overflow and lasting impression below put very similar DPS to the hothead, but only if you disregard the delay. For example, by pre-firing the rocket 3 seconds early. As I mentioned before, all of the testing in this video was done at the reload speed cap, which I talk about more in depth in my other video if you want to check it out, link in the description. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Peace.